Appreciate it. What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back and we are again discussing Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we are going to be discussing some of the biggest questions surrounding RDR2 now following the recent trailer. One of the questions we shall be going over is Arthur Morgan and the numerous theories that feel that his fate is already sealed. It seems that a lot of people feel convinced that they know how the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 will turn out. And I want to break down why I think Arthur Morgan's tale may be more complicated than what people are assuming. But before before we dive into all that, if you have not heard, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter, which also has a lot more information on this, and just be an active subscriber. Also make sure to get geared up for this upcoming western by getting the brand new House Marston or King of the West t-shirt designs. If you are interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description as well. But we're going to begin with the biggest question, and that is Arthur Morgan's fate. When Red Dead Redemption 2 was revealed as a prequel, many people assume the game would be about Dutch Vanderlint's gang, and the recent trailer certainly makes it seem that way as Arthur Morgan can be seen working with Dutch Vanderlint and Bill Williamson. Following our second trailer, I've been messaged and seen hundreds of times of theories that say Arthur Morgan must die for it to make sense for Red Dead Redemption's storyline. Some people believe that John Marston will shoot down Arthur, and some people believe Arthur will get his redemption by saving John Marston during the failed robbery of 1906. And I feel that is way too obvious. One of the biggest issues of both Red Dead Redemption 2's trailers is that Rockstar clearly edited the video in a way to make it as if Arthur is part of Dutch Vanderlyn's gang, and I'm not really sure about that. It seems he'll be working with them for whatever reason, but that will be just it. At least to me, Arthur probably will have his own crew and do his own thing. And with Arthur Morgan not actually being a member of Dutch Vanderlyn's gang, this would solve some of the issues with, you know, Red Dead Redemption's dialogue and the storyline. A lot of people don't really understand understand how Arthur Morgan would not be mentioned within Red Dead Redemption if he were a member of Dutch Vanderlyn's gang. So personally, killing off Arthur Morgan in the most obvious way during that failed robbery of 1906 kind of just undermines the whole story to Red Dead Redemption 2 and the whole point to Arthur Morgan's story. With any prequel, everyone assumes that the story has to tie directly into the game or movie's events that follow, kind of like how Star Wars Rogue One was handled. Now I like that direction and I felt it worked for Rogue One, but the big issue with Red Dead Redemption 2 to is we know some of these main characters that will be featured, and with Rogue One's cast, I believe it was pretty much all new characters, and with Red Dead Redemption 2, we also know about a lot of the events that will come, such as the failed robbery of 1906, the Blackwater Massacre of 1899, and we just know a lot about the past of these characters. So what I'm saying is, I hope Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't really about Dutch's gang, but Arthur Morgan and that most of the story concentrates on new characters and events. To put my thoughts together, I just hope and believe that we could see the failed robbery of 1906, but I don't want that to be the big climatic part of the story, because most of us know how that will go, and if this event is just a piece to Arthur Morgan's tale, I think that could better suit the overall plot of this game. But next up we have is if Red Dead Redemption 2 is now pretty much confirmed as a prequel, and the answer is kinda yes. Obviously we know the game will take place before the events of Red Dead Redemption, and the overall thinking is the game will take place somewhere from 1895 to 1906, but we still don't know much about the actual story of Red Dead Redemption 2. For what we know, it could be a game that tells Arthur Morgan's time with Dutch's gang, and then fast forwards to after the events of Red Dead Redemption where Arthur meets Jack Marston, and tells him about his time that he spent with his dad's gang, and maybe how he left that lifestyle. Obviously that's just a theory, but I'm trying to think outside of the box right now, and not just with this predictable Arthur has to die. Either way, nothing is confirmed yet, and we could certainly see some time jumps alike to Grand Theft Auto V's story. So now to our next question is, with Red Dead Redemption 2's first trailer, a lot of people believe that it looked much better than the second one, which has led to a lot of questions and claims that there could have been a downgrade. So a lot of people have been saying Rockstar downgraded Red Dead Redemption 2, but within that first trailer, we didn't really see too much, and I don't see the the downgrade in my opinion. Certainly there are things like some of the textures that could use some work for this game, but it honestly is gorgeous and just shows how much work has gone into upgrading the game's rage engine. From the clouds moving in the sky to a horse drooling, to the mud scene on a carriage as it rides by, to the dynamic animal interactions, and to the snow scene. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a beautiful game that if this is the final product, and this is how it looks when it does release, 
Very little games within this industry can match the quality and attention to detail Rockstar has gone the lengths to featuring. So right now, I don't think there has been a downgrade. It should be noted, both of these trailers were shot on the PlayStation 4, probably the PlayStation 4 Pro, so if this is actually what the game looks like, it looks phenomenal. But following that is, did we see John Marston pop up in the second trailer? Everyone really wants to see John Marston back, and he is going to return, but Rockstar has not shown him yet, and I'm sure they're going to be waiting till the right time. Everyone is theorizing this young guy is him or this guy in the middle, but none of those look any bit close to what the cover of the game shows him to look like you know, what his appearance actually is. John Marston will be shown soon, and I'm sure everyone will go crazy when he is shown, but we have not seen him yet. So is Red Dead Redemption 2 confirmed as only having one protagonist? Again, the assumption is this is Arthur Morgan's story, but based on a recent leak, while the game's story is about Arthur, we will be able to play as other characters during missions. I'll avoid going into really any spoilers of that leak, but I do recommend watching that if you haven't already. Now, for the most part, I do think this is just Arthur Morgan's story, and these other characters, such as the native or the female outlaw, may be playable, but that's the extent of it. Just something that allows us some customization with playing in heist or other missions with Arthur Morgan's gang or crew. I've said it before, but if Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be able to achieve the impossible and top Red Dead Redemption, I don't know if that's even possible, well, at least come close to it, it needs to be concentrating on one protagonist and their story. But moving along, will we see any other characters outside of Dutch's gang return? Rockstar is known for not bringing back many characters in their games, and I can't see many returning in Red Dead Redemption 2. We probably will see the strange man return. Years ago, Rockstar Games didn't want to go into his actual identity, maybe something that they're saving for Red Dead Redemption 2, but other than just him, we may see one or two other characters like Landon Ricketts, I would love to see the infamous Blackwater Massacre of 1899, or even Seth Breyers, who is said to be a very different character. But if we do see these characters, it's going to be purely for nostalgia, and that's going to be it. But to our last few questions, could Red Dead Redemption 2 feature an atmosphere similar to Mafia 3? If you are not aware, Mafia 3 was authentic for showcasing the era it was representing, and for Red Dead Redemption 2, it certainly could do the same. The game seems to take place in the Louisiana area, mixed in with a bunch of other regions that draw inspiration from the American heartlands. Now, Red Dead Redemption within the intro and a lot of the game showed the nasty attitude towards Native Americans. A lot of people forget that, but it does appear that Red Dead Redemption 2 will have a larger emphasis on natives, so I'd expect that we see how settlers or people react and think of them. As we can see in the second trailer, Arthur Morgan seems to be working with a diverse group, and if you recall in Red Dead Redemption, Dutch Vanderlyn's 1911 gang composed of mainly Native Americans. So this is something that probably will not be part of the main story, but could be something that we hear and see through throughout the game. So yeah, it could be something that's a part of the atmosphere. But uh, next up is, will we find out how John Marston got his infamous scar? And I really hope so. It appears that it came from maybe a bear or a cougar attack, but we don't really know. Although it could be pretty cool to see a Revenant-like scene with John Marston fighting off a bear or cougar. At least I think it would be cool. Next up is how will the world compare to Grand Theft Auto V? The biggest difference is going to be that Red Dead Redemption 2 emphasizes a living world. The map size doesn't need to be bigger for Red Dead Redemption 2, and based on the leaked world map it doesn't appear to be so, but the animal interactions, the dynamic weather, hunting, random encounters, and various events or activities need to be a major priority to make exploring a vast world enjoyable, something that was done very well with Red Dead Redemption. It really felt like there was only something to do within Red Red Dead Redemption, and it made long travels across the map fun. So far with our two trailers for Red Dead Redemption 2, it does seem like Rockstar is doubling down on this, and it gets me excited thinking about all the new things and upgraded features that will be implemented into this world, such as hunting with a bow and arrow. Now our last question of the day is, when will we see our first look at Red Dead Online? This has already been confirmed to be a major part of Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, Rockstar and Take-Two are very excited about how much money they're going to make off of this, but with PlayStation 
PlayStation 4 players receiving content early because of Sony and Rockstar's partnership, the likely time could come at the PlayStation Experience in December, Sony's next huge event, which is being predicted as the next likely time we hear about this upcoming game. This is also the ideal timing if the game is coming in spring of 2018, as intended, but we don't really know because, you know, Rockstar doesn't usually pop up at events. But uh, Rockstar didn't show gameplay of Grand Theft Auto Online till about a month before release, and Red Dead Redemption 2 could get a similar treatment. Although with this being Rockstar's main priority nowadays, you know, the multiplayer side of their games, I would not be surprised if they pull the trigger much earlier this time around. Anyway guys, what do you make of Red Dead Redemption 2 thus far? Do you like Arthur Morgan? What features do you want to see in the game? And when do you think the next reveal is coming? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and as usual, thank you for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing to stay up to date on everything Red Dead Redemption 2, as I'm your best source for everything to do with this upcoming game, and remember, Ella's to the end.